In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this image in Photoshop. Okay, we're going to begin this in Lightroom. Uh, if you'd like to try this for yourself, there's a link in the description where you can download the same file that I'm using here. Uh, this file was originally shot on a Canon 600D, I believe it was. So you can see from the settings, I was using the kit lens, and so it's f1.5.6, uh, and the ISO is 3200, which means if I zoom in, there's quite a lot of noise. And also you can see that this image is not very sharp. That's not really a problem here, but I don't want to do any more uh, noise reduction at this point so I don't make it any more blurry than it already is. So, uh, what I did in Lightroom was not much actually. I just uh, lowered the blacks a little so it will be easier to fade the shadow parts into blackness and then to add some contrast to the uh, to the uh, surface of the skeleton, I added some clarity, but that is all. And then we're gonna jump into Photoshop. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you can press Command E, and if you're using PC, then it's Control E. When you're opening the file in Photoshop, you might get this warning: it's an embedded profile mismatch. So just choose the embedded profile. Okay, and now we can uh, begin editing this photo in Photoshop. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, make sure the background layer is selected and then press Command or Control J to make a duplicate of the layer. And then uh, press W to choose the quick selection tool. Uh, you can uh, Press Control or Alt, uh, Control and Alt at the same time, and click, and then drag uh, sideways to make the selection tool bigger or smaller. So we're gonna choose like that one. Uh, I think that's about a good size. And then uh, just paint over all the things that you want to have selected. So Photoshop will try to guess what you want to select it will most likely make mistakes a lot of mistakes so you're gonna have to fix those in a bit so see here like it selected the brown part over there so then uh, press alt to make the cursor turn into a minus and then you can paint over the thing you don't want selected so it will deselect it okay uh, now I think we have like most of the bigger parts selected at this point. Okay, we can zoom in a bit, then make the selection tool smaller again, and then press Alt and paint over all these uh, holes that you don't want. It's actually not doing a great job at the moment. Okay, that one was okay. So let's try this one. And now these parts over here, desel deselect them like so. Okay, deselected a bit extra. Okay, I guess that's kind of okay, yeah. Then this part, yeah, that's fine. This part, yeah, okay. Uh, we're not gonna even try to select the teeth with the quick selection tool. We're gonna do something else a bit later, so it's fine for now. And then, yeah, uh, the same thing with these uh, thin parts. Also, we're not gonna try to get them with the quick selection tool. It will take too much time, so we're just gonna, yeah. I'll do that and then paint. We want that black stuff included, and also then we're gonna 
cut out this and you know the nice thing about this is that you can always come back later and fix it so you don't have to get it like perfect first time yeah and then uh, maybe remove this brown part yeah okay that we can select okay and then we're gonna uh, get this parts of the spine maybe at that one yeah okay uh Yeah, and as you can see, you know, you have to go like back and forth a bit with this. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, it's still quite fast, I think. So you just have to put up with the weirdness a bit. Okay, uh, we don't have to do anything with this, uh, the actual body of the dinosaur, because we're not going to use it for this image, so it's okay for now and then we're gonna come down here and press the add layer mask button so that's gonna add, add a layer mask and it's gonna hide everything that wasn't selected before so you can see here the white stuff is things that are showing and the uh, black parts are parts that are invisible so it looks like this all right so now uh we can add a uh, click on the background layer and then go down here and add a solid color adjustment layer uh, and choose the color black yeah that looks great and then make sure it is like between the two layers so there's the background layer and then the color fill layer and then the top layer is the cutout dinosaur so now we can start to refine our selection a bit so as you can see there is uh, kind of a lot of this uh, orange from the wall behind the dinosaur this orange stuff looks kind of like a halo or an outline or something so we're gonna get rid of that one first and then that we are going to do with a brush so press b for the brush tool there are also uh, different types of brushes but we're just gonna take the normal brush tool and then make sure the flow is kind of low 8% is fine uh, and again with the control and alt key and click the mouse you can change the size of the brush so I think that's kind of okay and then just make sure that your foreground color is black so you can paint on the mask and the mask uh, the black on the mask will hide any anything on this dinosaur layer so um, make sure the mask is selected and then just start painting out all these orange parts maybe it should be a bit smaller yeah uh, i'm using a, a wacom tablet for this painting stuff but you can do it with the mouse when i originally published the image on Instagram I didn't have a tablet at the time so it was done with the mouse so you can do it it's and you can get like equally good results with the mouse but it might take a bit more time okay now we're gonna just like make sure that we lose all these orange parts over here and that kind of big blob we can raise the flow and then get it out a little bit faster and then bring the flow back down and continue painting
Okay, now we're done with the orange halos around the edges, but we still have to deal with the uh, the teeth and the uh, thin parts over here and other problem areas. So what we can do is uh, choose the color fill layer and lower the opacity so we can see through it. So now we can see that the darker parts are uh, hidden by the mask uh, of the cutout dinosaur, so we know which is uh, what is hidden and what is not hidden. So now we're gonna uh, take the brush again, make the flow a bit larger, like so, then make the brush smaller, okay, and then uh, we're gonna paint with black all these between the teeth. Yeah. Like so. Now you kind of have to be kind of precise with this so you don't paint over the teeth. Yeah. Like this. upper jaw is now looking a lot much better now uh, switch the foreground color to white and we're gonna see some of these teeth are like parts of the teeth are darker that means that the mask is hiding that part so we're gonna have to paint over it with white okay and you can keep switching with black and white so to like make it perfect okay and now the lower jaw I think we're gonna go with white first paint this in and then come back with the back black brush to correct any mistakes And again, this can be done with a mouse, but it's going to take a bit more time because it's harder to be this precise with the mouse, I think. But it can be done. Okay, uh, now we have painted with white, so we're going to switch back to black. Maybe make the brush even a bit smaller and then just like go around some of the edges like so. This part I think needs something. Okay, there are some holes here so we're gonna paint over them with black. This one too. And this. Yeah, okay. Great. Uh, there's a small bit over here. Just gonna and make it even smaller and then paint away this one, okay. Great, and then I remember there was some problems here. Yeah, okay, so again, white foreground color and a bit smaller. Yeah, that is looking good now. And then we're gonna go down here. Okay, so, well, this part is simple, just paint away all the orange parts over here. Like that. And then these parts over here. And 
and we're just switching between the white and black foreground colors so we can correct all these small problems like this. Okay. Okay, now I think all that's left to do with the cutting out is uh, are these uh, thin parts over here. So I think we're gonna raise the flow even more and then paint over them. And I'm not gonna try to be like really precise because I'm gonna have to fix it in a moment anyway so i'm just gonna paint them like this so you you know you can see them also here and now again with a black brush i'm gonna zoom in yeah maybe make the brush smaller and then really carefully going around the edges First one's looking good. And you know, and parts of these, uh, whatever they are, are looking completely black so they wouldn't show up against the background. So I'm gonna leave like a little line of the orange wall. And when it's, when I turn it to like convert it to black and white, it's gonna, seem like it's part of the thing. <laughs> and maybe go over the like the other side with a larger brush with a lower flow so I can you know make it fade out more smoothly on this side. Yeah. Mm, yeah, and maybe do the same thing here as well. Oh, and this one. Okay, it is looking pretty good at this stage. So now we can uh, go back to the fill layer and turn the opacity back up to 100, like so. Okay, and now we can see if it looks good. Uh, I think, yeah, it looks great. So, uh, now we're gonna choose the top layer and then again here click on the uh, add adjustment layer and we're gonna choose uh, black and white. Okay, this makes the whole image black and white. And then on the properties panel we can play with these sliders to add more like a uh, texture on the surface okay yeah this looks great science probably not gonna do much no blues okay blues yeah like that and then magenta mostly nothing yeah okay that looks great and then uh now I'm noticing a small like problem here with this strange line. So we can go back to the mask and again get a back black brush and then just paint it out like so. Yeah. And if I see other weird looking areas, now I can go back and maybe fade them out. This one doesn't look great but you know yeah okay uh, and now the body is still not looking great but it doesn't matter because we're gonna do um, 
just like only select the cut out dinosaur layer and nothing else and then press control or command G and that will make a group and now this group doesn't have any other layers in it only the one that we had selected so it's only this uh, this part that we have selected now the cut out dinosaur layer and now we did this because uh, we can add another layer mask to the group so now we can uh, fade out the body without messing up the uh, let's see without messing up the other mask over there and we can like decide which part parts we want to have visible and which parts we want to hide okay I think I'm gonna do something like this all right now uh, originally I posted this on Instagram so what I did was to uh, crop it like uh, do the Instagram crop it's four by five so I'm gonna press C for the crop tool and then from the ratio drop down menu choose four by five okay and now we can crop outside like this and the other way okay like this put the dinosaur in the middle all right and press enter and because we have the um, uh, color fill layer it means it will fill the whole frame no matter what size it is so it doesn't matter if we crop outside or anything it's still gonna fill everything with black but now of course we have a small problem here doesn't doesn't uh, show up when I zoom in but it does when I zoom out for some reason so I'm just gonna get a black brush and brush it out okay so now we're done in Photoshop and we're gonna press uh, command or control s and it will save the image and when it is saved it will show up in Lightroom and now we are back in Lightroom and as you can see the uh, image has appeared here right next to the original one over here uh, but we can still do uh, some adjustments so we can see from the uh, histogram over here that uh, the white parts of the image are not completely white so we can push up the whites a bit until the white bar yeah like until it reaches the edge over there so as you can see what we did was like make the white parts even wider okay and then we can mess around with the shadows if we want like however much we want the dark parts to show here okay and then maybe even contrast yeah just a bit okay maybe bring down the highlights like yeah and then again with the whites okay i think it's looking really good and we are done if you like this video please consider subscribing so you will be notified when i make more and remember if you want to try this for yourself you can uh, download the source file from the link in the description. Have a good day.